Landscape identities penetrate our daily experiences. After watching a variety of examples of how people interact with the places they are attached, I have come up with different sustainable ways as a self-reflection, starting from small changes that can make a positive impact on the community and the environment. Number one, transportation alternatives. While riding a scooter saves a lot of time, I have recently made a conscious effort to incorporate more bike rides into my daily routine. It takes me around 30 minutes to ride from my house to school. With this choice, I often arrive at the classroom drenched in sweat. However, the benefits of reduced pollution and carbon emissions makes it worth it. Moreover, cycling and walking allows me to connect with my surroundings, notice small details, and truly appreciate the beauty of my neighborhood. I get to enjoy the fresh air and observe the changing seasons along the way. This experience adds joy and fulfillment in my daily routine, making each journey to school more meaningful. Number two, food waste reduction. Cleaning my plate and ordering just enough food to fill myself has become a well-established habit of mine. Except for this, I have also developed a practice of purchasing items from convenience store and supermarkets that are near their expiration dates in order to minimize potential food waste. Number three, conscious consumption. I go for local markets instead of chain supermarkets when shopping, for there are several reasons. Firstly, the products are from nearby farms, which means the food travels shorter distance to reach customers, reducing the carbon footprint. Secondly, by purchasing from local markets, it supports local farmers and small-scale producers, fostering community development. Thirdly, local markets offer a wide variety of fresh, seasonal, and often organic produce. Buying seasonal food means consuming fruits and vegetables that are grown in the region, promoting more sustainable diet. Best of all, it allows me to have direct conversations with the producers. I can gain first-hand knowledge about the production methods, sustainability practices, and the origin of the products I'm buying. Number four, continuous learning. This is an art project currently being exhibited at Treasure Hill Artist Village in Gongguan. This unique approach aims to raise awareness and advocate for the support of local farmers in Taiwan by showcasing a display of locally grown vegetables. I think it's really creative to use a digital format because it successfully catches the attention of passerbys, making them pause and delve deeper into the issue the artist seeks to convey. It encourages viewers to reflect on their purchasing choices and the impact they can have on local communities. The consumers not only contribute to the preservation of traditional agricultural practices, but also foster a stronger sense of connection to the land. Number five, active participation. My friend and I were strolling through Gongguan when we accidentally stumbled upon a bustling secondhand market. As we go deeper into the market, we notice a variety of items ranging from books, toys, clothes, accessories, and other trinkets. It was a place where people could bring their own belongings that were no longer in use, offering them a chance to find new owners who would cherish and use them. My friend was super excited when she found a lot of clothes, each piece offering a great deal that seems too good to be true. We decided to take a step further by renting a stall in the market and contribute our own unused items. Throughout the day, we witnessed the transformative power of the secondhand market. Things that were neglected and forgotten found new buyers who appreciated their beauty and volume. By active participating, it is by all means promoting sustainable fashion and environmental awareness. Through these small individual actions, such as transportation alternatives, food waste reduction, conscious consumption, continuous learning, and active participation.
I can have a positive impact on the overall well-being of our environment and the communities we live in. To me, a sustainable self-reflection is not about perfection, but about recognizing efforts, growth, and ongoing commitment to make an impact on the world.